So it's you get out and just go hit the Gucci store? Glove gang, man. But now, I, I got, yeah, I did. Yes, I did. I got out and did everything, bro. Mm, in five days. Do you know how many videos I shot? Already. Seven videos. You had to record the songs? Did you re-record no, stuff you had already... I, yeah, I, that, exactly. I, that I made in the cell because you're not finna forget about the music I made. That shit hits, and I feel like I'm slept on. I feel like I've been slept on. I'm mad. I see niggas in jail go viral. I'm like, on the dead homies, are they not seeing my video? They're not hearing what the f*** me and T.O. You know, they don't not see? How that shit go? That shit, f*** shit. That is the crazy thing about you being locked up for that long is that throughout that time period, it's become more and more normal for us to see people recording from jail. I probably cracked that off. Mm. But no, nah, that shit been around, but like, ain't nobody did it how a nigga did it. That's the can't ever catch up. 33 videos, eight mixtapes. Well, you, you gotta go, ain't who gonna catch that much time? Right. Who gonna put that much dedication? Who gonna do that? Yeah, most people would just keep the shit on their phone and then when they wait, get out. Wait, wait, record, stack up. <laughs> Man, who wait for? <laughs> Wait, you're bro. definitely one of a kind. I appreciate this. Um, wait, so how did you know X4 before you got locked up? No, oh, nigga, that's bro. Right, but he must have been young. As, I mean, you were both young, but. Yeah, I think I'm like maybe two years older. I'm oh, is that? Been, okay. Yeah, but that's bro. He's been around. He's been from, he like, you know, he from the parker from the ass. He just got to hold that side down, got to hold this down. <laughs> were you surprised when you saw his shit really starting to take off? Oh, no, nigga, I've been. Nigga, when he first came with that, with that hoochie. Oh, that, that, yeah, that <laughs> gangland, man. I'm mm -hmm. hurt. I don't even want to do all that. You feel me? But he was uh, hurt. he was dissing everything. Dead homies, nigga. And that shit was that shit was going crazy. He did that. That was mm. hot. He had a viral moment where uh, Alex Alonzo told him, like, kind of asked him to stop uh, Who's dissing. Alex? His, Who? Alex runs a YouTube channel called Street TV, yeah. and there, like he did, I think, okay, X Force's first interview. Okay. And in it. X4 keeps saying what you just said, dissing his ops and shit. Yeah. And Alex kind of like tries to tell him not to. And X4 is kind of like, nah, that's, that's just what I'm doing. That's just what it is. You can't, <laughs> yeah. you can't say it. Once a nigga into this, it's a wrap. The moment you decide to take your feet out that ocean, that water, hmm. you're, you're a duke monster. <laughs> I don't know. I could hear your whole crew laughing out there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, nah, but yeah, that's bro though, on the real. Uh, Nigga, hell yeah, we been trooping on the real. We holding the hood down, dead homies. Mm. I just nigga, we me and him got a video right now. That's the, I just shot my. I recorded my. I recorded my first song with X Files. Right. Like on I real. figured you guys had to. Like, like I, cause I didn't want to get the studio music. I wanted to live life. I don't want to keep rapping about prison and mm. stress music, man. I'm trying to make some shit about life. They telling me to drop, but I'm like, bro, let me live. Mm. I've been recording for seven years. I'm like, now it's time to live real quick so I can talk that shit. Facts. I gotta get. Yeah, let me. Let me. Let me. You feel me? That's funny you say that because I remember when Draco got out, I was interviewing him and he was basically saying that motherfuckers are not trying to hear you just talk about jail on, that's on not songs. That. Because like, it's, because it's going to put a, it's, it puts a mold over you. you, you know, like, bro, my video man that came to see me yesterday, bro, my, you know, my young niggas, they, I called him for a video, my nigga RP fam. I'm like, bro, can you come shoot a video right now? Them niggas, he's like, yeah, I'm on my way. Why does this nigga crash his car on the way to me listening to my music? Really? And then still gets told to shoot the video. I'm like, this shit, this shit crazy. So I'm like, damn, I'm I gotta watch what I promote. But at the same time, I'm just in the studio just letting out, like, I can't, I'm just, I'm, it's, I'm, I'm a rapper, bro. Mm. I be rapping, no hood. No, yeah, you are I'm, really good. Yeah, yeah, I be rapping. I really think you have a big career ahead of you. If you make the right moves, like, your shit can really go crazy. No, ain't no time. I be going left, though, but I'm gonna make the right moves. <laughs> For the show, um, so Dodie Six. Why, why is the six in your name? Oh, cause uh, it's six Dodies. Or her, that's my hood name. Oh, so you're the sixth one. Yeah, well, Dodie Six is my rap name. Okay, Dodie what, Six is my rap name. What's your Midget hood Dodie. name? Midget. Midget. Oh, geez. and that's, that's after infant and baby. Infant, you get infant, the midget. Yeah, the big little baby, tiny infant, midget, and possibly seven. Holy shit! That's what we got, brother. Midget is crazy just because that's not really an extension of an infant. It's like a full grown human being that just didn't really get big. Exactly. But I'm, I'm, it's not I'm for me to make the rules. Get big. <laughs> First big midget. <laughs> big midget Doty. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I wanted to ask this. Uh, what, what LA rappers were you influenced by before you went in? Cool. I gotta, gotta, you know, I gotta say the truth, Draco. Mm. Got you off the rip. Uh -huh. And. I had like three runnings with Drake up, bro. But every time it was like a lock in, like he knew what was up. He like, he, like I always got that knowledge. Even that same night he got chip, he he double tapped my story. 
Uh huh. He wow. dumped that nigga story, dead homies, and it's like I'm like, all right, that, that meant something. Like it was, I don't know, it was a little sign. Like I'm like, I'm like, all right. And I was talking to Rafi that night, and Cuz let me know. Uh huh. I'm like, all right. Uh huh. Yeah. How would you feel when you heard about? He was for the bite your nails. I, I, I have a real <laughs> problem with biting my nails. Nah, me actually, too. I ain't gonna lie. Me too. I'm trying to nah. stop. Nah. You're not trying to stop. I can't. I can't. I'm trying to stop because I see my kid doing it now, and I'm like, God damn, I'm fucking my kid up already. It's in his blood, bro. Ugh. Grand Mason. <laughs> your last name. You like that? Ah, Do you want to roll with the Illuminati? Yeah. Look. Let's go. Oh, shit. What the <laughs> this nigga crazy. How, how'd you ah. feel when you heard about Draco, though? Huh? How'd you feel? You're locked up. That was weak. Mm. That was weak because you know he's the hardest. Who f***ing with him? Mm. I can't even. I can't f*** with that boy. That boy, that boy, that boy had lingo. Yep. That boy had his own language. Yep. That was a language. Like, niggas not knowing that. That's. Uh, I know. I'm tapped in, fool. A nigga pay attention to shit. That was the craziest shit because he had been out for however long and we had seen him moving around. Like, cause yeah, but then he got pressured up, though. I'm not like, he got pressured up a little bit. I feel, I feel, because I'm not going to say like I was out here, but come on, it's out here, it's in there, we know what's up. Yeah, but I mean, he was moving around in a way. The nigga not going to no concert called Once Upon a Time in L.A. The nigga not going there without Big Tooley. That's King in Vermont. I don't hear That's out of pocket. I need a whole 200,000, maybe even more. That's crazy. <laughs> King of Vermont. <laughs> it's got a chip right there. That's crazy. They told him he could only pull up with a couple of people. <laughs> let me pull up with all shooters. No, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. I was just joking. I was just joking. <laughs> I've seen a ton of comments saying that you got to do music with the Stink Team now. I got to do. I don't got to. Well, not got to, but they want to see you on tracks with Ralphie and shit. I, I mean, I already got tracks with Ralphie. Oh, you do? Oh, that's, that, yeah, yeah. I mean, Ralphie didn't give a nigga like five pieces from jail. I mean, that's why I oh, got shit, I didn't even know that. Damn, that's hard. That's, that's dope that you did that. Yeah, yeah. You think X4 should have signed the stink team? Hell no. Nah. They got to find his own way? Hell, yeah, 40 crib. Why would the <laughs> f***? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Crazy, uh, but I feel like when people see X Four uh, and he has, you know, a Draco influence in his music, a lot of people. We all do. Yeah. Everybody is like, I mean, it's, uh, across it's, I America, know. huh? Across America, there's a lot of people who don't even listen to Draco. They're influenced by Draco because <laughs> they listen to somebody who was influenced by Draco. The nigga let out too much sauce in the world to where it's like it's gonna be hard. I still find Draco songs that I'm like, oh. F I ain't really ever listened to this I one. I want to hear the new shit. It don't even matter. That's what I'm saying. It's there for life. You still that find shit. shit. It ain't yet. It's like, it ain't even hit yet. Like, that shit might hit 50 years from now. He's still dropping. For sure. Um, wait, so you were in the fireman program before you got locked up? That was your plan? No, I'm a fireman pro far guy. Like, he crazy, nigga. Hell nah, nigga. I went to a nigga. Uh, they were qu in court. They said they, uh, what they say? They request me to go to a uh, fire camp instead of real prison in a cell. Fire camp, you still in jail, but yeah, I end up in it, end up making it, and that's where I start making music at. Cause that shit, I ain't gonna, that shit like Rich Rolando, that shit, that shit go crazy, and uh, that's where I started the music and I made my first album there. Huh? But I already knew I wasn't gonna be there long, cause my points was like all it took for me to get in trouble once, and I was getting kicked out of it. So I went there with the mindset like. I gotta get, so I gotta have fun. Go correct you, you gonna get kicked out. Like it's one right up away. I'm, I'm one right up. You crazy? I, nigga, that's that's coming. I got that coming. Mm. So I went crazy, bro. I was smoking backwoods. They I had backwoods. I was, yeah. I smoked about three woods, three four woods. I've been down. Uh, made my album. What else did I say I was gonna do? And I did. I don't know, but they eat out, nigga. That firefighter shit not for me though. All right, if you're locked up and you got a backwood, are you expected to share this with your cellmate? <coughs> hell, hell not. <coughs> hell not, nigga. They got to just, <coughs> just try to breathe in some smoke. I really didn't pay for the even the backwood. It's just, nigga, it's out of respect. Like, the, the, the pricing on that probably would be crazy. Mm. Backwood, but like, but like, I, me personally, I'll give the experience to my Sally just like, cause a nigga, 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 certain niggas got life. Like, nigga, here, this first and last backwood, sad to say.